Hello, welcome to Foppy's Creations. Jan here. Um, if you've not been here before, uh, I aim to make things from recycled materials and basically anything that I can find that I think I can save from landfill that I can create into something. Um, sometimes I will try and sell. More often than not, they will be given as gifts and I just enjoy the whole process and I just thought on this channel I could share that with you. I don't um, really give tutorials. Um, if anybody manages to learn something from what I've done, then I'm really chuffed with that. Um, but otherwise it's just I make, I show you and then you, more often than not, Thankfully, I'm inspiring people to get back into creating things, and that really that really pleases me. Um, but so th for for this video, I just wanted to start the year off by doing a bit of a show and tell. And also, I'd like to show some of your creations at some point. Um, in the past six months, which is as long as I've been going on YouTube, um, I've received some photos from people of things they've created um, but not quite enough to make a video yet um, when I was going through the photos to make this video of, of my own things I've made apart from the f fact of quite a lot of these I've forgotten I'd even done so it's been quite interesting and quite put a smile on my face you forget what you've made sometimes and um, I found some paintings without a name to them how ridiculous is that? Uh, so if you sent me some paintings, and they're lovely paintings, can the, the lovely viewer that sends me those, sent me those, please tell me their name. Um, I know one is of a Chinese uh, lady, Oriental picture, so is that you? If that rings a bell, and I think another one is a, a, a painting of a crane, um, or pelican or something, I forget now. And, um, yeah, I just need to know your name so I can put your name to it before I can actually put it on a video. But, as I say, please send me pictures of your creations that I could sh share with everybody. Things that you're proud of. Maybe even send, make a little a short video. It'll have to be quite short because obviously I'd have to edit it down to be short otherwise. <laughs> but a short video or something that I can just show what you're doing. And... You know, you'll be doing the same as I'm trying to do, inspire people to get back into crafting. And if I can inspire people to recycle as well, because this is the important thing, I think, especially to, to me, I think is important. I think about my grandchildren and my children and their future and how things are just just getting messy, aren't they? Just there's too much stuff in landfill. So if I can salvage it and if I can make things with it, I try to. Um, and as well, if you've been on my craft room tour with me, you'll see there's quite a lot of stuff here. It's not overwhelming, but I've got quite a lot of stuff and I've tried to keep it organised. But um, yeah, so yeah, send me those if you, if you feel you're wanting to share. So right now, what I'm going to do, so excuse me, as usual, I've got notes. Uh, what I'd like to do now is do a bit of a show and tell. And I've made or put together some photos of things that I've made uh, over the last couple of years really um, and it's I say hopefully it's items I haven't already shown you and if you'd like to see me make any of these again I'll gladly do so because whatever I do I like I enjoy making it so if you'd like me to make any of it again um, please just let me know in the comments um, there's a few items in there that I've I've made via patterns or books that I've bought so they've obviously been designed originally by someone else and I would I will tell you that as we go through the photos we'll go through and I will describe as as much as I can for the time the photos on the screen and tell you what I, where I got it from and as much as I, you know as I can let you know about it <laughs> okay awfully a bit now aren't I <laughs> Okay, well, hopefully you enjoy it. And let's get on with it. Okay, this is the, the first 
picture. This is of a little tote bag I made for one of my granddaughters last Christmas, made in a child size. And this is another one from this for the younger uh, granddaughter of the same family. So I did her a little key key ring on there as well, as you can see. Really sweet that one. I made the, my twin grandchildren one as well. This is from my eldest granddaughter. Made, as you can see, I put a doily in the middle and added some black beads and made this one out of corduroy and made the fringe out of corduroy as well. This one was made out of, I think it was denim, a black denim, and again a doily and added some beads and I happened to have some red beaded trim. So I put that one on as well. The, both those last two are quite retro looking. And these little bags where I used the same pattern as a bag I made for myself. And they both, oh, there's three of them you'll see, they've all got the similar flowers on the front. So this is for the three same, they're all sisters. And you can tell by these, as I say, I've just used different fabrics, but the same pattern. I put piping around the outside, adjustable straps on them as well. And they were really pleased with those ones as well. You can see the piping more on that one. So they're not great. Well, my, daughter, my granddaughters think they are, obviously. But um, I was really pleased with them, the first ones I'd made for them. This is a one I made ages ago actually. It was just just a trial run really, just to see what fabrics I could put together. As you can see I used a jean pocket for the front and then different fabric for the sides and then plaited some denim for the handles. This was one of three I made. Uh, it was a, a book cushion, obviously a pocket at the front. They can put their book in and I put their na name on them. That one's got Gracie ray on it this is a phone and tablet holder that i made um, for my grandsons to put their tablets on and rest them on they're quite a good make actually as you see i've used a lot of scraps to make that one this one my daughter asked me to make and it was two quilts i made for each of the twins made from all of their baby clothes it took me a long time to make it but so I managed to get them both made one and I thought it was quite emotional when she opened them and I'm really pleased with them. I managed, as you can see, I can, I've can i managed to get bits off t-shirts and things and add them on as extras. This was a herringbone quilt I made. First time I'd done it, it took me a long, long time. Then I got the size wrong, as you can see. It's far too wide for the bed. It's It's come off the bed since and I've, I haven't got round to changing it but I quite enjoyed it and I was really pleased with the effect afterwards and then after having done that one I did this one for my daughter this is like a lap quilt and again she was really pleased with that it was just during Covid time and I think she, things were getting her down a little bit and I just felt she needed a bit of comfort from mum so I sent her that this is a Tilda doll if you saw my angels I made from the, much the same pattern and I just added my own dresses and things. I gave this to one of my my younger granddaughters. In the next picture you'll see I made like a a little kiss as in like a kiss when you put it on a card. So she had a kiss from me in her pocket. These are more Tilda dolls. They're like garden fairies they're supposed to be but you can see they've got chickens in the pocket. The other one's got what, a chicken under her arm. They're quite fun to make as well. These are more Tilda fairies. Funny, they're all quirky little things, but they're really good fun. And when the girls received these, they were thrilled with them. Another Tilda one. Again, a pocket with a little chicken in it. All got their own little personalities, those little dolls. This is this is actually one of the first ones I made a long time ago, and um, yeah, so I just made another one, give different colour trousers and things on with this one. I think that went to one of the grandchildren as well as present. This one I couldn't decide if it was a rabbit or a dog. To 
be honest, but I think the fact that you made a character go with it must mean it's a, a rabbit, mustn't it? <laughs> That's quite sweet. Again, all made from scraps. This is my skirt bag, as most of you hopefully have seen the video, where I just literally turned a skirt into a bag, and I, I do love that bag. I ended up giving it as a present to a friend who'd done some some things for me. This is my very first, one of the very first lessons, or not lessons, but things that I showed how I make, the uh, bottle bags. And a few viewers actually got inspired by that and made lots of them. This is my most, one of my most recent ones, is my baguette bag. It's not the best photo, but um, it shows what it is more or less. And I've done another one, one in the process of making another one with the wording of baguette on it. This is very recent make. I made two of these for Sharon for her birthday and she didn't get them until New Year's Eve because she'd been in the UK for Christmas. So as you can see, she's quite pleased with those. Piping around the edge again. And these are ones I made a while back. Just some cushions on on my own bed and I um, just obviously appliqued a few hearts on them just uh, to add to it. And this is, it's not a very good photo, but it's one, another one you've seen me make on video, but one I, I really love the fabric on that one. This is come, comes from a recycled jewellery that I had acquired from the charity shop. I took everything, I took it all apart totally and then added my own beads and things on that. I was quite pleased with that. I've still got it. This was just another version of the one I made quite recently. One for like hypoallergenic people. Um, just made from beads and fabric. And this one I made obviously the bracelet to go with it. And these are the my designer Christmas cards I think from last year, not this year. Some I've got some ideas off a of pin interest, but these were just ideas. It took quite a while to make, as you imagine, threading all those little beads. And this one, it's you know, it's getting the knack of punching the holes in the card and make, not making the hole too big. But um, yeah, it's quite quirky. And another use of recycling beads that I've had got in my uh, stash. This is the uh, same year and first time I'd had a go at quilling. I mean, they're not, you know, they're not, it's spectacular, but they they came out really well. I was quite pleased and really pleased that the quilling stuck. This is this one just says Merry Christmas or Merry Xmas. Again, more beads. One Christmas tree shape, same Merry Xmas. This time, obviously, just made holes and then threaded ribbon through, and obviously, added the beads. Now, we're on to my paintings. This is the first of four, of the same family, four of my grandchildren, my son's children. This is Charlie. This is Lily. She's got very fluffy wayward hair, so I had to <laughs> show that in my pictures, which was quite hard, very hard to paint very fine hair. This is Frankie, my oldest grandson. Okay, it's the first portraits I've done of them. I've still got more. And this is Alfie. The cheeky little thing. I've got um, 11 grandchildren altogether. And this, so this is only a handful of them. 
This is my eldest granddaughter. It's not the greatest of pictures of this painting. I don't know what happened to my other pictures, but you can see there what um, what I've done. <laughs> I was quite pleased with that. She was the first one I've painted. This I think you may have seen before. This is a painting I've done of the front end of our sheet. I was quite pleased with. This is a painting, I'm not sure if I've shown you this before, but this is a painting I did for our neighbour who's an absolute fishing fanatic. So I painted that for him and he's really pleased with it. And this is just a little card I gave him on the same birthday because he's got the potager next to, my, to ours as well. This is a picture of a, where we stayed on holiday September before last, which you can see. 2020 I took my art my painting stuff with me and I painted the front of it and I gave that to them before we left so I was quite pleased with that one as well now this isn't mine this is Duncan's another present for Sharon for a birthday he decided he wanted a painter a picture instead of a New York skyline so he was he was really chuffed with it and as you can see so was Sharon This is one that's really special. I painted this from a photo that Billy and Gwen Petherick took of their son Ernest walking to the chateau and I painted it and it's now in their chateau and he showed it on one of his recent vlogs as well. This is the painting I painted for Sharon for a Christmas present. She'd wanted me to paint this for a while. I did it slightly different to what we said we was going to do, and this is a mirrored image, but uh, she, needless to say, she was happy with it. This one I just thought I'd throw in. This is I've got a friend who's got a pottery uh, studio, and we go often go there to paint pottery, and that's what I made, a sign for our garden gate. This I thought I'd throw in at the end. It's just us dressed up silly for Halloween. Thanks very much for watching. So if you want me to want to see anything made again, please do put a comment in the bottom. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.